It's a 960 title arena. It's a three hour tournament. I'm joining just over an hour late, but still have time for a lot of chess or a lot of 960 chess. So I think I'll just hop in. 230 players. Leader has 44 points. So I'm only 44 points out of first. Here we go. Uh, let's berserk. Thank you, HLV or HVL. Uh, what is this opening? Or what is this position? <laughs> Almost a four year old. Uh, whoa, it's Phillips. Thank you, Phillips. Phillips Flight Club. How's it going? Yeah, I can't rely on any opening theory because it's 960 chess. But I can rely on opening principles, hopefully. Control the center. Develop my pieces. Don't mind this. Yeah, this is how castling works. Kind of similar to normal chess, but a little bit different. Uh, might as well play c5. Expanding on the... I guess we can still call this a queen side. I won't mind the trade. Also don't mind this. Mm, there, there. Maybe missed something there. It's still looking good though. Uh, let's keep pushing. Yeah, look at these pawns. But now what to do? Yeah, I traded knights to get the bishop here. And now I can start winning things. Oops. Actually, this is fine. The queen is trapped. <laughs> or no, it's not. Opponent found the safe square. Uh, I could have taken the knight for free. I'll take the bishop for free. Okay, this is kind of a wake-up game. Hey, I gained 20 points. I haven't played 960 chess in a while, so rating is going to be volatile there these first few games. Okay. Nice to start with a win. Yeah, I did late join, but I'm planning planning to play the remainder of the tournament. I'm not sure what a reasonable goal is. Like, I'm already close to top hundred, so maybe top fifty is achievable. Yeah, someone call an ambulance. Okay, this is a good player. We've played a lot in normal chess. Also, it's an interesting starting position. Like bishops on one side, knights on the other side. Uh, we'll develop. Yeah, I don't want to overthink the opening. I guess I'll play symmetrically and we'll see what my opponent does. Probably this, this, and castle makes sense. Ah, this move may be coming. So if I take... Okay. If this or might be bishop f4... I mean, we both played through the opening pretty quickly there. Sometimes 960 can be tricky in managing time because it can be easy to drain the time early on. Is Rebecca Harris playing? I'm not seeing Rebecca, at least in the top 20. Okay, now I could take and play bishop e4 and trade again. It's committal. No, let's start by castling. Okay, now I could take... Take a knight h4. 
four. I still have this other idea. I think I'll go for this idea. Because one of the points is... Okay, I'm getting two knights against knight and bishop. Sometimes a pair of knights can be more effective than knight and bishop. And then there's another point. How do I want to do it? Maybe this immediately. With this structure, the knight can be more effective on g4. Because white can never play h3. And it's hard to achieve f3. But this bishop is dangerous. So I play f5 here. And the goal would be to play e5 and d6 and solidify. Oh, my opponent's also streaming. Shout out to my opponent. Pichelkin VK. It might not be streaming in English. Um, this move. What's my setup? And this move. The plan is to do this and then this, and then probably redevelop to f7 and target the pawn. Maybe this idea. It's a weird maneuver. Like usually in 960, you have a knight in the corner because it starts there. I guess it did start there. It just wants to return home hey, temporarily. Your day's going well. Thank you, Musha Bloom. Going well so far. Hoping it stays well. This move would threaten checkmate. But then I can play queen g6 and... I still want to get the queen to h file. Now the knight's kind of tied down to defending h2. And this was basically what I was envisioning when I took on g3 is getting the setup. It might still be like roughly equal, but at least it's imbalanced. Queen h1, knight g1. Can you two wait a minute? Win the pawn? Debating where to put the knight now. There's a funny idea. I'm threatening to take in the knight e5. If queen here, I think I play e5. The rook's tied down. Like the rook wants to come to g1, but it has to babysit the f pawn. Okay, that makes some sense. Rook g1. So if I play this. It's not simple. It looks really good, but I'm trying to figure out how to deal with this threat. I mean, probably after knight d2, I just move back. And then after rook g1 here, rook h1, I have queen g4. I didn't really see any other options there. But at least my queen's not getting trapped. There is rook h1, though. My queen's a little bit stuck there. I mean, the plan might just be to lift the rook and win the pawn. We are playing with increment. Okay, 
Okay, Rook H1 is now a threat. Let's move back. I'm up two pawns here. Opponent trying to get counterplay. Yeah, this move. Aligning with a king. Maybe I should have taken first. Mm -hmm. I gotta watch my time. And pawn's pinned. Oh, that move I missed. And knight g8 should save me. It's scary. The things were attacking from all directions, but well, I didn't have any additional ways to attack. Okay, I'm getting some more rating there. Good start. Two out of two. 104. Yeah, welcome to more people. It's not the usual type of chess. I miss playing opening theory, but it's nice to have a break once in a while. Okay, playing Kazulo. Yeah, these first like 15 seconds are kind of important. Identify the ideal setup and go play F4. I mean, I definitely want to move the G pawn. Probably get some setup like this. Wow. It was an unexpected move. Play this, there's knight. Knight there. Like, I don't want to burn too much time here. Maybe just h3. So I can safely play this and not worry about knight g4. Okay, now this square is looking juicy. Not easy to exploit though. I might be getting ready to castle kingside. This move. I don't want to get smother mated. G4 now. Actually, bishop e1, maybe. Not the happiest move. I'll take with queen. Yeah, I didn't want to take with pawn and just trap in my own bishop. Uh, take, 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 queen a3. Maybe a4. No, but then queen b4. And rook a3. Okay, let's go for this. There's this plan now. Okay, so now after takes, takes, assuming we trade everything, because I played a4, there's no queen a3, and I'm ready to castle. If black goes for this and I just castle, king gets safe. Double pawns aren't so bad. I have the half-open b-file. 
maybe there's c4 potential got the queen bishop battery oh i mean i have this move defending and defending might just be hard to get the bishop to a happy place rook c6 okay knight d6 Play rook a no. Play this. Probably rook a three and try and double up. I don't want to take that. I take the queen. Yeah, I'm worse here. Taking the rook doesn't make sense. Oh, this is kind of troublesome. Not thrilled with this. I mean, the bishop really wants to be on d3. And then at least it restricts the knight. The black is kind of quick to act here. Okay, maybe it's okay. Hmm. Knight e4 is going to be included. Yeah, g3 is hanging. Yeah, I'm losing a pawn. I mean, at least I'm expanding a little bit. And that might be a case, like, if knight takes g3, c5. And where is a rook going? Here or here? But maybe there's potential to somehow trap it. Bishop d3, take, I'm still in trouble. If it takes, I probably take the knight and then run the king. I'm so close to trapping the rook. Rook a3 and c3 is now the plan. Yeah, that's a good move. I am probably losing somehow, but it's not simple. Wow. Okay, now I should be like objectively much better. Uh, seems very close to winning. King's coming to d6.
If I play here and then here, the rook's trapped or it's stuck, and my rook can activate. But can I make progress with just my rook? Thanks for the raid, thinker teacher. Welcome back. If you're just joining, I have a tricky situation on our hands. Whoop 960. It's all about this pawn. And then this pawn. Oh no. Ah, uh, not quite there to set up the trap either. Ah, what to do? Wow, what a crazy game. That was such a long game, too. It stings a little bit, but... Oh, man. I assume this position should be close to a draw. I mean, Black definitely has more winning chances, though. And going back... It felt very close to winning, too. But my C7 pawn... Or my C pawn was... Slow to push. Yeah, maybe I should have started with C7. Okay. First loss of the, of the tournament. But more more 960 to play. Thank you, Joss, for Pope. Thanks earlier to Archaeologic. 
Soldi's asking about the speedrun series. Hi, we're trading. Eric. Good to catch you live again. Oh, your boy Logie there. Speedrun episodes. Nice to hear. Remember, remember, the 6th of December, for that was when I was born. Oh no to my youth, thought that sentiment is uncouth, and my alignment to such is forsworn. Thank you, you boy Logie Bear, and Novo Manish. To answer the question about the speedrun, um, I'll probably, like, try and achieve at least 2200, but I'll see how far I can go. Still have to work my way up to a thousand first. Episode 12 was released yesterday. Oh, I'm allowing the same thing. Okay, some early trades. Uh, there's queen. Queen b2 looks nice. Black might have to eventually play f6. Or king f8. Alright, so now what to do. I'd like to develop. There's a question what to do with this knight. In 93. It's a weird looking square because I blocked the pawn, but I'm maybe preparing to queenside castle or not. Okay, well now, and there's g4 too, g4. <clears throat> if takes, I take with a rook. I mean, there, I still have casting potential, but I think now I'm focused on g5 and knight g4. Maybe there's some knight f5 ideas. Like, I could play knight f5 right away. But after king f8, I don't think it does that much. This move also doesn't seem to accomplish that much. Like, queen e5 is coming. Although maybe... Yeah, there is one funny line. Queen e5, I take. And then after queen takes, there's knight f5. Because a queen and pawn will be pinned. And a king f7, I play knight h6 and I fork. King g7, I take and then take. I think black is just walking into it. Yeah, it's a double pin. King side down to the queen. Imagine black had some way to avoid this line, but it was a feel-good combination. Okay, now I'll castle. <laughs> Castling in the endgame. I like the pawns like this against the knight. A knight will probably have to maneuver elsewhere. Okay, make sure the rook can't infiltrate. What was the point of the castle? Um, it was really just to show off the fact that that was a legal move. <laughs> well, I got the rook to a nice square. Though maybe the rook wants to be on the king's side. h5 first. So if takes, then I can win back the pawn. Now usually the strategy in these positions is to try and open files. Because I have an extra rook. This looks nice. Preventing black from playing h6. And then well, preparing this. If rook g8, I'll have f4 eventually.
I'm not threatening to take right away because 94. But, I mean, some combination of this or maybe king moving first and then go after the pawn. Yeah, like king. There's king d4. I like king c2 because the knight is very far away from harassing the king. And now f3, knight will move, and then f4. Oh, but then the knight comes back. So maybe b4 first, using my pawns to kick away the knight. And now this. Kip Chipperly is asking, what other types of games do I enjoy? Um, I like Scrabble. Like ping pong, tennis, bowling. The occasional chess 960. What to do here? If I take knight takes. Yeah, that should be good enough. Because now black is a bit tied down. Like the king and rook are tied down to defending the knight. If knight moves, I take and then probably push. Um, I mean, black is still stuck. I don't want to take and allow the check. Although maybe I have to do that at some point. Play this move. And Black's almost in Zugzwang. Did you grow up playing tennis? I did. I think I, I took my first like tennis class or tennis camp around when I was four or five years old. Then I took a break for a while and then came back to it around age maybe 10 or 11. Yeah, this is actually nice. Like this Pawnee 4 move. So it made a situation where the king had no more moves to keep the knight defended. And then once the rook moved, I could safely take and not allow rook a check. Okay, top 100. Four games down. Try and keep it going. Wow, Bach has 72 points. Playing Trush FC. Okay, so likely the knight will come here. I mean, e-pawn move makes sense with the rook here. Considering this right away. I wonder if I can play some like Banco Bononi type thing. Um, let's just do this. I'm trying to stay flexible. I gotta move much quicker. I just don't know what to do. If I push, take, take, pawn push. Maybe this move. Not the prettiest move. Allowing pawn d4 if I wants. I want to get a setup with uh, this pawn chain. I think this is the most testing. 
I mean, then maybe I play like D5. There's also some B5 idea. Or, um, what am I saying? G5 idea. I'm not thrilled here. Okay, if I play d5, there's takes, takes, and then c4. Paying the bishop and the h-pawn. Yeah, this is went really wrong. I feel like a beginner, like just playing very bad opening moves, violating principles. I mean, if takes, takes, then at least I have some natural development, but this is a problem because now I can only play knight of seven to get the knight into play. And g4 is coming. I mean, I could play g4, no, g4 myself. Ugh. So, how about this? I mean, if I take, then the pawn's pinned. So, g4 is maybe a likely option. At least white is burning time, too. G4, so if I take, take... Ooh, okay. I have to take with pawn. Took with bishop or rook, there'd be d5. Yeah, my queen is stuck. I play this, there's bishop a6 winning. Play a5. I'll play this first. Like, maybe I'll castle kingside. Developing. Where's Zaperic? What's up, Ash? No one. I'm somehow up on time. <laughs> yeah, both took a lot of time in the beginning of the game. We're still before move 10. So I think the goal is to castle and then, like, maybe Queenie. Oh, never mind. Uh. F5 doesn't really work. Bishop F4 check. Oh, that's a super annoying move. And now I can't castle. Wow. Have to go back. Wondering if I can play b5. Because b5 at least prevents bishop a6. And then the problem is my queen still doesn't have a good square. B5 a4 too. And white's just chilling. Um, I really don't know what to do here. Yeah, this move, idea knight f7. Like it's so passive. Yeah, that's a good move. Maybe now b5. Queen b6 or... Yeah, this move. Whoa, a Tinubu, gifting 10. I appreciate that. I need to stay awake here. 
I'm barely holding on. Okay, now at least there's some expansion. Some on this side here. It's not looking good. Oh, a powerful move there. And knights hanging. That was a free queen, wow. Opponent missed. <laughs> The queen's defending. What a gift. It's an early Christmas miracle. Okay, still have to focus. Okay, some funny mating net there. Okay. <laughs> wow. I, I just kept surviving that game. At some point, opponent just gifted me a queen. Enjoying the recent Italian game content as it's the only opening I know. Oh, that's nice to hear. Thank you, G. Duffy. Yeah, as a position that White had just so many ways to win. I mean, White should have just taken the knight. It's was the simplest. Then here, yeah, the pawn was not hanging. Okay, I mean this pawn was hanging though. So I've I've played five games. I've only lost one. Playing another ion. Um, let's control the center. Speaking of the Italian, let's play the Italian. My my pieces can kind of access normal squares. Although knight's knight's not coming to f3 anytime soon. Maybe I can play some version of like a Grand Prix. Or Vienna. And knight could come here and then bishop goes back. Oh. Can I gambit the pawn? I forgot about that move. Maybe I'll play the d3. Just giving the bishop pair. Black doesn't take it. Yeah, I think I'll leave the bishop here. Because this structure is actually like pretty good. Controlling space. Getting a grip on d5. Oh, let's watch out for the threat. I'm 
I'm, I'm allowing bishop here, but I think I'll achieve some decent harmony. Yeah, 960 takes some getting used to. Some people like prefer it over normal chess. I like it once in a while. It's a nice break from the traditional sort of openings that we get. But there's still a lot of overlap in terms of like early principles. Like, this kind of resembles a stone wall. You see this idea a lot in the stone wall where this knight's an outpost, but this knight is not an outpost because it's now attacked by the pawn. Actually, I'm going to win this pawn, it looks like. Which I didn't even see coming. Uh, takes, takes. That looks pretty good. Yeah, sneaky queen on g1. And I undouble my pawns. So we both still have casting rights. Do I want to trade queens? Because there's also this move. Calculating rook c8. Yeah, rooks, d6 rook c8 is not so clear. If I take the queen, that's probably the the principled approach. And then gradually build up. Okay. Yeah, no castling this game. Black could still castle, but it doesn't make sense. So hopefully I can show how to win this. I mean, the idea is to play on the side where I have the extra pawn. Uh, probably b4. Although maybe, yeah, we'll start with this. So once I play b4, then I'll be threatening c5. Trying to just prepare my pawn breaks. Thank you, cookbooks. So b4, rook a8, c5, take, it's not simple, play h5, or h4, h4 is kind of interesting. The idea is if takes, I play g4, and then I can try and win back the h-pawn. There is a line takes g4 h5, take rook h8, then I was calculating rook g1, threatening rook g7, king e8, oh, king e8, rook g8, king f7, rook a g1. We see g4, interesting. So take and then rook g8 this idea. I think what I can do is sack back the pawn. Like rook g8, I'll play g5, take and then h5. Even maybe start with this. Yeah, threatening to skewer. And now h5. And there's still potential for the, the breakthrough on the queen side. Sometimes positions like this, you have to kind of play on both sides. Okay, I could play rook f5. I could also take. Yeah, let's go ahead and take. Because I now control the only open file. 
Maybe there's some h6 idea in rook f5. Try and win the g-pawn. I'm pretty... I was about to say, like, this should be a losing endgame, but... Uh, I don't have time to calculate. Uh, there, there. Let's go for it. And c5. Oh, no. I think I messed it up. I messed it up. Oh. It's a draw. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Wait, <laughs> make sure I click the right button here. Oh no, am I losing? Why did I play C7? Oh no. I'm losing. <laughs> oh, what have I done? What did I do? Oops. I played C7 kind of just as a a joke, not realizing that this pawn is going to be lost. Oops. Someone call an ambulance for me. Oh, I'm so sad. I was first sad about like throwing away the win. Yeah, this ending is like much trickier than it initially seems. I'm wondering if I have to play c5 immediately. Engine, is, of course, says white's winning. I think c5 immediately might be the the most practical or the most, like, easy option. Because then the king just comes in. Like, regardless of what takes, the king will come in. Okay. Oops. Let me try not to tilt. Uh, uh, maybe that makes up for the previous game where I was like completely losing. Okay, have to avoid raging, avoid tilting. New game, playing killer. Do I know this person? Anonymous GM. Can I play a Stafford Gambit? E5? The problem is I don't have Knight C6. Okay, let's play this. Normal move to defend the pawn. Duh, I'm allowing Knight F5. Or B4, wow. So if I play back, then knight f5, and I lose a g-pawn. So let's move back. <laughs> oh, b4 attacks the e-pawn too. Okay, I guess I am gambiting here. I wonder if I should have played bishop e7. Or bishop d6 even. Oh, this is a very bad opening for me. All right, what's the best like gambit type move? A5. Wait, 
it. Let's go for a5. I'm not proud of this, but maybe something will work. You left Ayat. First time prime. Okay, so now if I take, 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 I win back the pawn. Okay, so it's not that bad. Feels like white mishandled that. I mean, white's still probably a little bit better getting the pawn center. So now what to do? It was d5. Take, rook, take. There's bishop g5. Yeah, I'm a little bit passive. The good news is that like queens are off the board, so I'm not going to be getting attacked. And I can cope with a space deficit. And I have six. I just want a castle. Casting king side is a plan. Uh, it feels so good just to put the rook on or put the king on top of the rook. Just have everything shift over. White also flexing the, the casting muscles. So now probably rook a8. Have some tension along the a file. It's the only fully open file. White grabbing space. I mean, c5 looks like a nice positional move. c5, d5, knight h5. I deal bishop f6. And there's takes, takes, bishop c3. Hey, someone getting merch. Someone purchased, oh no. My queen. Chessboard long sleeve teeth for twenty eight dollars and ninety five cents. I'm not sure what to do here. Maybe just rook b eight. I wanted to play c five, but I didn't see how to make it work. White expanding in all directions. So now b5. No, no. It's so uncomfortable. Um. <sighs> F5 is maybe coming too. Okay, now at least I have the idea of taking and then rook a8. Get my knight in the corner. Okay, rooks are off the board. Bishop b4 is a threat. Bishop f5. Yeah, I grandmasters value the bishop pair. I'm still surviving, though. This move, take, take. I was calculating e6, take, take, and then this. Because I hit the bishop and the pawn. I 
Maybe some G6 coming. I mean, once the bishops get traded, it should be okay. Still tricky though, d6 might be coming. But then they take in king e7. And if anything, I would like to play for a win. Like, how do I attack the pawn? I'm playing for a win. Some night of three idea. I do have to waste a tempo though. That's kind of risky. So I'll get in one of these moves next. That's a fork. Almost missed it too. Okay. <laughs> uh, all my games are having the, the unexpected results, like based on the positions. Like this game, I was probably slightly worse most of the game, or much worse for part of the game. I just blundered upon the opening. <laughs> but I kept surviving, and then... Yeah, this sort of ending, the knight can be very tricky. And thankfully, I didn't flag. Okay. 46 minutes left in the tournament. I'm actually kind of happy that I, I late joined. Because three hours of 960, I think, is a lot more exhausting than three hours of normal chess. Oh, shout out to my opponent, also streaming. Um, let's play. I mean, what do my knights want to do? Let's play this. Maybe get some setup. Maybe I'll play like a Ponziani type thing. It's nice to hear that you are happy. Yeah, it's good to be good to be happy. Thank you, Al Sirius. All right, so we have a French. I can't play the standard like knight d two or knight c three. 
If I play advanced... I'm worried about f6 coming and then... But that should be okay. It's weird, like, black can't put the same pressure against e4 that you can normally do in the French. Because the knight, the knights have a hard time getting to c6. A bishop coming to c6 doesn't really bother me. So I want to develop like this. And I do have f4 here. f4, g5. I think that's okay. Bishop can always come in. Welcome to Commando. I hope people are enjoying the, the 960. I know it's a little bit different than typical chess. Okay, so I'll play 93. And the goal with Generally, the goal, like out of the opening for these 960 positions, is to get some peace harmony. I'm getting something that resembles some normal chess position. My black has a bad French bishop. I mean, probably black should have gone for this, uh, like f6 and bishop g6 idea. f5. f5 does close things down. I don't want to take because it kind of gets messy. So I'll play this. Hi Eric, nice of you to stream at a European friendly time again. Oh my pleasure. Always enjoying the relaxed atmosphere here. Thank Thanks you Shock Prophet. Great content. Yeah, I don't want to trade off lights for bishops. Uh, the plan with such a structure is usually to go for g4. And like, it's still possible to break through, but it takes time. Like, King h2, rook g1. Might have to give in to the knight trade. It's tempting to sack. Um, I mean, nine f one is also kind of interesting. Now let's do this. I connect the rooks. B three. No, B three doesn't work. I mean, maybe now g4. Now g4, take, take. That should be okay. So I have one, two, three, four attackers against f5. Black is counterattacking. What to do with my bishop? A rookie one. Oh, there's bishop h4, which was not played. We might see g6. Black does have the bishop pair now. This knight wants to find a life. G6, I could take and then double up. I could play G5 and then go for H5 ideas. I could start with rook G1. Ooh. I have rook C3. I like rook C3 and A4. 
It doesn't really work though. Maybe knight c5. Or knight, um, yeah, knights may be coming to c5. Another idea is to maneuver the knight to f3. It's a more useful square. Should probably look to get the king to g3. Also, maybe it's worth throwing in the trade. Just leaving tension. My time management has not been great. I get a little bit complacent with a two set increment. Ooh, it's a good move. Greeting from Austria. Okay, I'm gonna need some some kind of miracle. There's still practical chances. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay, knight g5 coming. Yeah, there might be full compensation here. Uh queen e3. So my idea to e6 and then queen e5. If the queen goes here to pressure the pawn, I play e6. Oops. That was a blunder. Hoppity hoppity, e7 coming. Yeah, that's a fork. Okay, somehow I'm winning this, I think. Better be winning this. Knight was very powerful there. Okay. It's like every game I play, the, the side who's winning doesn't win. Or the side who's better doesn't win. Black well, should have been better there, but... Um, and especially after winning this, but it's still tricky. Like maybe, yeah, black had to play very accurately. Do you have an echo? Welcome back. Are you in the mood for some queen blundering? Have I blundered any queens yet? I blundered a, a king pawn ending that was winning, and I ended up losing. Um. I think the, the one queen blunder I was on the receiving end of, which was nice. Well, maybe there will be some queen sacrificing coming up. So top 90, 84th place. I have not won three games in a row this tournament. So let's try and avoid blundering the queen. Giovanneco says, I will gift 100 subs if you give away your queen and win. I will add an extra 50 subs if you berserk. I need the opponent to berserk back. Okay. <laughs> opponent's not berserking back. Oh, yes. Okay. Right, now I have chances. Um... All right, let's let's go for this. 
Time to blunder a queen. Or attack with a queen. I mean, I have to wait for the right moment to give the queen. Uh... I think the plan, the plan is to castle queenside. And g4 might be coming. Hmm. I'll play this. I do this and this. I have a very close position. I want to trade queens. Play this. Maybe bishop h5. Check. Da. <laughs> I've under the queen. <laughs> da. I didn't take the queen. Okay. Ah! Ah. A little bit slow there. Oh, it's so close. It's so, so close. Yeah, berserking uh, gives away the increment. That was such a messy finish. <laughs> I think I pre-moved this move, not expecting my opponent to give back the queen. I should have thrown in b6 too. Okay, good game. All right, so I guess my weird streak continues. Winning two, losing one. So now I'm hopefully due for a win. That was worth a try. <laughs> Hey, it's time to play the London. Have to recuperate with a solid opening. I appreciate the challenge, Hugio Uh Let's play this. Maybe Castle and Queenside is coming. This knight is not enjoying life. So I think the plan is to play f3, knight f2. Maybe even f4. Oh, thank you, Giovanneco. Gifting 10. I appreciate it. The problem is if I play f4, 
This is takes and queen takes. Yeah, we're getting this like closed structure. I definitely want to go for g4. I'm trying to figure out the best plan. Let's see, five. Thank you, Trevi. You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some, you flag some, you blunder some. It's all part of life. Okay, G4 is uh, is on its way. It's going to be a super sharp game because Black's going to try and attack on the queen side. Oh yeah, and sometimes you draw too. Golden Kappa Train. Amen. Oh, Golden Kappa Train. Wait, I gotta focus here. <laughs> what am I doing? I take on f5, bishop takes knight g3, bishop takes h3, knight h5. This may be an option. I mean, that actually looks okay. Wow. If I take and B file opens. Let me take here first. So H4. I could take on E4. Honestly, that looks pretty decent. Like getting rid of black center pawns and probably one of the rooks. The issue is black will have more minor pieces than me. I don't have to take the rook though immediately. Although maybe I should. Going for this. Oh, maybe it's okay because I have bishop takes f5. I should have seen that though. Yeah, it's not great because worse ending. Okay, so I have rook and pawn for two knights. This pawn's going to be weak. And let's try and make the best of it. Right, rook f8. I guess rook e4. One plan is to play b3, c4, c5, and then basically trap the bishop. I can't take that. And some awkward rooks. If knight moves, I take and take. Thank you, Jay Sutz. It's weird, black box a little bit tied down. Uh, take doesn't work. Have this move. So threatening to take and take. I 
Those work. It's a weird thing to wrap my mind around, but the whole point is I'm going to take the bishop. If it takes, I take the rook. And yeah, I'll be up a pawn going into that game. This pawn's kind of weak. There's 94. And these pawns are pretty strong looking. I've somehow avoided flagging. Also controlling these squares. Rook C8 incoming. Uh, it's still not simple. Oh, but I'm preventing rook c3. c7. Okay, now it's simple. Okay, it took work. No stalemate. Okay. As another game, I was so long on time. I missed knight takes e3. But then it was a weird situation. Like it was hard for black to make progress. A lot of things were tied down. Rook was tied down. Knight was kind of pinned. This pawn was tied down. Bishop was not having too many squares. So 82nd place. Hopefully due for another win. Playing Skoy in 99. This almost resembles normal chess, but the bishops are in the corner. So it's a forced fee in Kato. I mean, sometimes these positions lead to the early bishop trades. Yeah, I think I'll just do double fiend ghetto. Maybe I'll play a hippo. Although this knight doesn't really move like that. Would need a camel. Am I winning material? Bishop d4. Some opening trap. Because now I can take and take. I haven't seen too many opening traps today. I guess I was on the receiving end of one. Like that b4 game. Ooh, fancy move. I mean, I have f5. Maybe just this move. It always feels weird to put a knight directly in front of a center pawn. But I think this is okay. Like the plan might be f6 and then kingside castling eventually. 
I'm realizing f5 is a bit too committal. Mm. Yeah, let's go for this. Yeah, because white has a dark square bishop, I want the pawns on dark squares to restrict the bishop. Do have to watch out for f5. I could castle queenside too. Maybe a bit safer. I'm staying flexible. If I castle kingside, then there's this f5 move. I could also play this first. Oh, let's just castle. Realizing on move one, like casting queenside was possible. Maybe not the most efficient use of time. Oh no, my camel. Yeah, if my knights were camels, they wouldn't be doing much in this position. So I'm, I'm curious, like, a knight is probably more powerful than the camel. Because the camel can only access one color square. Realizing there might be some people watching who don't know what a camel is. Okay, do I play this move? This is nice. There's a variant on chess.com called Chess XXL has new chess pieces and one of them is a camel if i play this i lose a pawn so maybe f5 first i give the bishop more scope but the bishop's just staring into empty space and i'm securing the square for the knight Yeah, camels are a little bit longer range. Okay, we might end up trading knights. Now, what is my plan? I think I'll start with this move. Restricting c5, also preparing g5. It did look like I was threatening queen a3, but g5 was really the main goal. Ooh. I have queen c5. I could start by taking two. But I don't see what white's doing after queen c5. So if takes takes, I'm happy. Okay, I'm happy. So now white has no more. Oh, am I happy? White does have something. I mean, this pawn hangs i should still be up a pawn hey it's emberg to call back on the last w take, you take, take. Was in, you should ask him how the camel moves if i take 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 rook here not simple though I'm going to play rook e8. Rook f8 would allow Hello, bishop e7 Michael, in some lines. Nice to see you live. That's good to live. Thank you, Stephen. 
Yeah, I'm getting very low on time here. But position is still stable. Knight returns. And I want to destroy the bishop, but bishop h4, that's hard to remove. I think I'll still play h6. There might be some ideas of sacking eventually. Never mind. Okay, maybe sacking on g3. Take, take. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Maybe I should have started with h5. Yeah. Let's play this. Rook, rook h3 there is rook g1. Rook f1, I have this. It should be winning, but it takes work still. And it's four on two. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was probably a mouse slip, but I'm low on time, so no mercy. Yeah, once the king moves here, I have rook a1. Okay. I think a nice game overall. Got some help in the end game there. I was happy with this opening idea. Like, it's one of these things you have to watch out for in 960, like these early bishop moves to attack the rook. So top 80. And we really see a pattern here. Two wins and a loss. Okay, hopefully I can make it three wins. Can I play a London? Opponent might also play a London. I mean, Bishop F4 runs into knight G6 or even G5. Okay, play this. I wonder if there's any viability to... I could have considered playing e5 right away. But e5 takes and then d4, and a 5.
And g4 is kind of aggressive. I think c6 makes sense. Just open the bishop. b3, really? This is knight not happy. So now I have e5. I guess b3 does fiancado the bishop. We might be getting some French structure. Which I think I'm happy with. Like, with black having more space. And the knight will develop probably to c2. f3 might come. f3, maybe I have bishop f4. It's a strange position to internalize. My queen probably needs to find some usefulness. I do have this move. Knight f4. Idea is to play this and not block the bishop. F3 is coming. It's... I mean, do I have F5? Yeah, actually, F5 is maybe a move because takes, takes, I defend the knight. And f5 is coming again. And this unleashes a queen. f6 would be a nice square for the queen. This could be the last game that counts for the tournament. Ooh. I have bishop f4 here. And we probably see an exchange sack. That looks okay. Yeah, I don't mind trading off this bishop. If takes, 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 queen f6. Queen h3. Oh, I have some uh, back rank ideas. Can I be fancy? Like knight h4. Spending too much time on a line that probably doesn't work. Knight h4, there's knight takes h4. Take, take there. Maybe just castle. Yeah, because the king will just run to the, the corner and be safe. Can white castle too? Yeah, white can castle too, but... It doesn't make as much sense. I have queen h3. Okay, let's start with this. So I really want to play this idea, because if... If queen takes, I take here. It takes its mate. So I was calculating takes, knight takes, 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 rook g4, knight g2, queen g5. The knight is like... Oh, but then the knight has f4. Hmm. 
Now it might work. That's a weird tactic. So if queen takes, again, I take the knight. If knight takes, I take. And then I'm ready to double up. Knight f4 runs into rook g1. I was calculating that line like almost every move for the last several moves. Yeah, knight's so awkward on g2. Oh. It's not simple. I have to take in king c7. Be safe. Thank you, Anna Crowling. Appreciate the raid. If you're just joining, I have four seconds left. There's increment though, so I should be okay. It's just kind of scary still. Uh, that's a good move. Okay, is this position winnable? I'm throwing the check first. It should be winnable, but I don't know. Oh, is it losable? <laughs> I have a passed pawn. Oh, no. Look at this cube. Ah, oh, that's not good. Yeah, oh. I flagged. Oh. I was so happy with most of that game until the end. I mean, the final position is losing. I was trying to figure out like how to set up a stalemate trap here. But even having time to think, I'm not seeing the, the stalemate trap. What to do? It was a cool game. Also, I think that's going to be the final game of the tournament, sadly. Let's see. Pairings are closed. Wow. This whole tournament, I followed the same pattern of results. Win-win-loss, <laughs> win-win-loss, win-win-loss, win-win-loss. So I played, what, 12 games total? 67%. More like 66.66 .66 repeating, right? I won two thirds. 
Had some fun games. Not the cleanest game. I had six plungers this game. <laughs> I was so happy with the play too. I got a nice opening. Grabbed more space. I had a cool tactical sequence. Yeah, this knight takes h4 move. This idea was to, after queen takes h4, to take the knight and say, oh no, my queen. F takes its mate. Opponent saw it, took here. But then, still in this line, I trapped the knight. But it got tricky. Thank you, Hane Deluxe. Thanks for the, the very good content. Month after month. I appreciate it. How is your dog doing? Dog is good. Um, it's it's my parents' dog, but I see her every uh, every once in a while. I could stick around. Um, I feel like I I should cool down from these games. It was decently high stress. Chess. Yeah, I'm kind of debating what to do. I see a few people wanting viewer challenges. How is Anna's stream? Anna was, I think, doing some event, right? In in Paris? I feel like I saw something somewhere. You never look like you're highly stressed about anything. I was definitely stressed during some of these games, especially that last game. But I think my heart rate has probably settled down. Yeah, I usually don't, like, visibly show stress. It's one coping mechanism. Hey, it's Gari. I finished with, um, oh, how did I finish? Also, good job to Bach. Winning the tournament. Gets $500. I finished in 80th. I did join an hour late. So, I think a decent result. Got some usual, usual names on top. Vladimirovich, I think is on Draken? On Draken. Got Peravian, Sindarov, Razulov, VM. Oh, Volodar Mirzin. Yeah, young player. I played him back when he was maybe FM? I played him in, in Romania. He was like 12 years old at the time. Can you host a viewer duck chess simul? <laughs> I don't think simuls are possible on the, the variant server. I've never done a duck chess simul before. Oh, Gari was going to join, but there was only one minute left. Ah, what to do? Wait, you've been to Romania. I, I was in Romania two years in a row for the Fisca Open. There might be pictures. Eric Rose in Romania. Let's see. I'm trying to find the article. There is some article for U.S. chess. Oh, yeah. I was traveling with uh, Kosha Kavutsky of Chess Dojo. It was before the existence of Chess Dojo. Is this a profile picture U.S. chess used for me? What is this? It's actually a nice profile picture. Yeah, there was a time where I I would travel and then write some like blog articles for US chess online. It was a very nice uh, scenery. It was in the town of there's like these resort towns like Jupiter and Venus. I forget exactly which one we were in. But it was right on the beach. Kostya won some nice prize. And these pictures got blurry. Anyway, people can find this article if you Google my name in Romania. Can I challenge Yanistan to XXL chess? Oh, Jan Gustafsson. I saw him in real life recently. Like It was my first time meeting him. Is in St. Louis briefly. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna wrap things up. Although I feel bad wrapping things up so soon. Maybe I'll do like one puzzle racer, or two, or three, or four. 
Hopefully I have some friends to join. So if you click the link in chat, the first nine people to click the link get to join the race. It's not filling up right away. Okay, now it's filled up. Puzzle Racer is similar to Puzzle Rush. It's like Lee Chess's version, but you can compete against multiple people. And let's start. Ten, nine, Good luck eight, to everyone. Seven, six, five, four, I think my high three, score is 103, two, so I'll try and beat one, that. Zero. Oops. Hmm. A little bit slow with the mouse here. Know what that last one was. Ah, okay. Got to 78. Oh yeah, if you're just joining, uh the 960 tournament is over. Um stream is ending soon. <laughs> okay, we'll do one more. Again, if you want to join, click the link in chat. And good luck. Oh, we got Thinker Teacher here. And Obese Reese. Some other names. Okay, good luck, everyone. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Try and really eight, focus here. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Hey. Ah. Actually, the queen in the last one, B1 queen. Okay, got to 91. Wow, Juan de la Sala with 81. Okay. So, I think it's time. 
to wrap things up? Or do we do Juan more? <laughs> Juan more. Okay, Juan more. I'll give Juan another chance. Click the link quickly, though. I do have to go after this. Okay, here we go. The goal is to beat 91. Juan is back. Oh, Juan. Juan got 92. Wow. We can't end on that. Juan more. I probably have to go after this one, though. Okay. 10, 9, 8. Oh, Juan has seven, a 2851 bullet rating. Five, okay, four. that. Three, that adds up. Two, one, zero. Oh, I lost by two. Juan is strong. Juan more. Juan more. Oops. Uh, what did I do? Create new game. Click the link. Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. I just want to cross ninety one. Three, two, one, zero.
I beat 91. I got to 92. I think I, I'm going to end with that. GG's to everyone. Good job, Juan, winning most of them. I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to share before I, I leave. Um... Oh, I guess there is one thing I can share. Maybe I mentioned this on a recent stream, but I got a new a new device, which is under my desk right now. It's called a walking pad. It's kind of like a, a treadmill, but it's just kind of flat. It doesn't have the the stand that you put your arms on. And I might try in the near future to do a stream while on this walking pad and have a stream where I have to like walk X number of steps or X number of miles or kilometers. And I thought it'd be cool. I don't know if this will like actually be realistic, but it would be a cool concept because uh, the Lee Chess Winter Marathon is coming up. So I thought it'd be funny to have a video where, or have a live stream where I play the Lee Chess Marathon while walking a marathon. But that might require some physical training. So stay tuned. Maybe some content coming soon.